Hey, thanks for the invite. Uh, we are excited to be here to present on the AI-based failure classification algorithm. The fundamental reason for us to put across as a conference paper is based on the impact that we had for several customers of spending a lot of manual time in analyzing the test summary reports. Other reason for us to go for such solution is the duplication of issues. For example, when we dealt with thousands of tests to fail and most of the tests failed due to very specific reasons. So we want a AI based solution to come and tell us what is the unique defects found in the applications rather than duplicating it. The other interesting reason we found over time is the classification perception. For example, each individual can classify the problem differently. One can say data, the other can say infra, the other can say application, the other could say it is because of script. So we want to dilute it and bring it to uniformity. And hence, we started looking for a based solutions. The last reason is very interesting. We had a lot of false positive tests and people claimed the test passed because reports said passed. But interestingly, it didn't pass. So we have to go dig deeper to find out if the results really passed. So we use the test results. How did we achieve this? We started collecting data across projects, across build results. Then we consolidated them into a singular tablet format. And based on the data, we cleansed them using pandas and started applying the models on it using the regression algorithms. Once we validated these regression algorithms, we trained them, tested them enough before seeing the accuracy going up from somewhere about 50 to 70 percent. Once we got that accuracy, we were ready to deploy them into the Google Cloud platform and enable the API for our test results to go and hit them. So based on every test results we get, based on every failures, it goes to the API and try to find out what is the possible cause for the failure. Then we went on to have the scorecards and we started even supporting the right results and for every failed results we started putting a penalty class. That helped a lot by the feedback models getting applied. We started achieving over the time, in the last nine months, we could go all the way up to 87% of defect classification right. We modeled our solution based on four different classifications. Number one, script. Number two, data. Number three, environment. Number four, application. Based on this major classification, we deep dive to have smaller classifications as well. And this can be configured in the model as you run by. One of the beauty of our solution is the post actions. Based on the model's predicted score, the post action is triggered. For example, if the model comes back and tells us the major classification failure is due to the script and if it is the minor classification goes for a score of timeout in that case the post action start running the same test case with the increased timeout if in case the model comes back and tell us it possibly failed because of the data then the post action automatically rerun the test with a different data using data provider and listener of test engine and same thing, in case if it confirms the error is because of the application, the post action goes and logs a defect in Jira, ensuring it is a unique defect. So hence, the post actions plays a vital role in our solution. In sum, our solution works by this way. You feed in your test results to our model and you configure your classification score for every single classifications and then you train and test our model for better accuracy and then you also configure the post action based on your frameworks or algorithms and then it starts working to give you the best results. 
So with that said, our solution can help you to save a lot of time in ensuring that the defects or the failures are properly classified and the post actions can save a plenty of time using the AI based deep learning.